So it all began when I bought this car, which has been the bane of my existence for the last year. I didn't have the money to get it registered, so I was driving an unregistered car and got some tickets for that. Then I got the money to get it registered, but I didn't have the right paperwork, so I had to wait another month or so for all that to go through and got some more tickets in the meantime. And I figured once they'd be late, they would just get a late fee and like a library book or something, but it turns out they suspend your license and issue a warrant. Well, one day after a show, I was driving home looking like a like some kind of clown, Jehovah's Witness, wearing all black and white, with my face painted like David Bowie. And I pulled into a 24 hour gas station that also had a donut store in it. So of course there was a bunch of cops sitting there looking at me, like I'm all strung out with makeup dripping on my face and got suspicious and ran my plates. And I didn't have a driver's license, so they pulled me over and took me to jail. And that was the beginning of my big trouble because then I had a lot of fines and other fees to pay and I was still driving around illegally. And it got to the point where if I didn't pay my bills I was pretty much going to go to jail since the only thing I had of value was my prized PRS Custom 24 with a pen top and artist package. I regret Which is a, it's a guitar for those it's, of you who don't It's know. a guitar, you may have seen me with it. <laughs> I had to sell it brought tears to my eyes but I didn't go to jail and through an act of providence I restored my Fender Telecaster which was my first guitar and put the pickups of my dreams in it and it sounds exactly how I want it to sound so that's how I pay the rent I sell the things I have me too <laughs>